What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Rudy here bringing you guys today's video the running on MT beginner Pokemon League where I officially have now Wait, do I have one or two wins? I don't know. This is week five. I believe Wait, this is week five. Yeah week five. I Believe I have two wins now. I don't remember or I might just oh no I have two wins I definitely have two wins because I have the rematch to have the official win and then I last week I beat okay boomer this week right now my setup is just a little bit different, uh, so hopefully this works out smoothly. My mic should sound just a little bit better. I've been tweaking with it, so it should sound better, I hope. And I'm going to be fighting against ROE, running on MT's very own Tengu, a.k.a. Joe. Let's hop right into that right now. We have found Tengu here, everybody, a.k.a. Joe. His in-game name is Claire, so that is Tengu. We're going to be going into the battle right now. I'm using that team. Where in the beginning, you've seen my code, so you guys can rent it if you would like to. Free to rent. Let's see what Mr. Tengu is rocking. Okay. Akram, Krami, Corviknight, Gastrodon, Titar, Grimmsnarl, and Toxtricity. Man, I haven't played in a while. I want to be completely, frankly honest with you. I've been doing the Versus series with Tig. If you guys haven't seen that, it's on the channel. Uh, in the playlist, you can see it's on both of our channels, actually. He gets all the odd episodes. I get all the even episodes. Yeah. Uh, so, I haven't played competitive in a while. He seems to know exactly what he's doing. It's weird to have T-Tar and not Excadrill. I believe we have to lead with Grimmsnarl here. And then... I'm thinking Grimmsnarl and Rotom Heat. To lead, we put Draco in the back, although he's probably gonna have a Gastrodon, and then Dragapult in the back as well. I just, I mean, Draco's is so good, and I know he has a Gastrodon that has uh, drain like water drain or whatever his ability where he stops water moves, but that's okay. That is just a okay. So let's see what we're gonna get going on here. I, uh, no, you know. When I said I haven't played in a while, that's not an excuse. Am I bright enough? Like, can you guys see? I can't really mess with the lighting right now. Okay, Alchemy and Corviknight. So, Corviknight is more likely going to bulk up. What does Alchemy do, though? I feel like I want to Thunder Wave the Alchemy just to get that early paralyzed. Because I feel like Alchemy is going to do some kind of setting up. And then I'm going to trick the Corviknight. So, if he does bulk up, he'll be stuck into that. So let's see what we get here on that. Oh, he withdrew the Corviknight. Okay. Good call on his part to do that. Definitely good call to go into Gastrodon. So he, uh, if he expected me to do a heat move, that would be stuck. But let's see if he has leftovers on his Gastrodon or what. Let's see here. And Choice Scarf on Gastrodon is actually really good for me. Because, yeah, leftovers. Let's go. Yeah, and Alchemy got paralyzed. Gastron has Choice Scarf now, which is not going to serve him good literally at all. So now we can Light Screen here, and we can swap to... Ooh, I don't want to swap to Stuart, because isn't Alchemy no Fairy moves? So I think what we'll do is we'll... I think right here, actually, we're going to Dynamax. I think we're going to Dynamax uh, Max Flare, Set the Sun, and then we can switch to Dragapult and Solar Beam this Gastrodon. So right now, this Gastrodon doesn't really serve a threat to us. We're going to have Light Screen up, and it's going to be a Drought. Oops, sorry for in the mic there. I actually think this is probably my best play possible right here. We're going to have the Drought set. So Gastrodon, his water move is going to be weak. The only thing that he can do to me is a ground move, but I have Levitate on Rotom, so he won't be able to do that. And he's Twist Scarf now, so whatever move he picks, he's locked into. This might be the... So far... <laughs> The smartest I've ever been in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I mean, he's obviously he has to bring Gastrodon when I bring Draco. Or if I even have Draco on the team, whether he knows I'm bringing it or not, he has to. That didn't quite get the knockout like I wanted it to. Uh, but we know for sure this next round it will. So he's going to use Scald. But Light Screen and Drought, that's not going to do anything to me. And now I know he's stuck. Ooh, Decorate. Ooh. What does that raise? His attack and special attack. I was say, if it just raises his attack, isn't that kind of silly? Okay, so the attack getting raised is definitely scary. Uh, so what I think what we're going to do here... So he's scalding, huh? 
Oh, man. So I think what we can do here is switch the Stuart for the Solar Beam onto the Dragapult. And then we can just Max Flare into the Alchemy again. Because even if it protects, it, it should still get knocked out with Drought and everything. So this is probably our best play here because now next next turn I'll have Solar Beam to hit this Gastrodon. And most people set up the Dragapult to be physical attackers and minus set it to be a special attacker, which most people do not expect. So, okay, this is a super good play on his part because now he's going to have the Drizzle set up, which actually completely ruins my whole plan. Because now my Solar Beam is not going to get done in one turn like I wanted it to. So this actually ruins everything. I'm not going to lie. How can we use Protect? Of course, it should still go down here, though, with a Drought. Drought and Max Flare should still take that thing out. It does. Okay. It's actually good for me. But once again, he's going to Max Geyser here 100% with this Gastrodon. Oh, Max Quake? Oh, please don't knock me out. I'm, I'm a Solve Vested. Dude, this is at... No, but it's now has Sandstorm, so it still doesn't help me. This does not set up Sandstorm. Or is it not? Actually, wait, does it not? Oh, Rock. Max Rock sets up Sandstorm. Guys. Guys, we're... We are so good right now. This boy's about to get Solar Beam into Oblivion, and I don't think he could possibly see this coming. Literally, he could not... He could not see this coming. He has an Air Balloon. Good on him. There's no way he could see the Solar Beam coming. Absolutely not. And now we are just going to Max Flare into the Toxicity. Bada bing, bada boom. This should be a really good turn for us. Gastrodon's more than likely not going to go down. I mean, he's a big, bulky boy. But if I'm not mistaken, Gastrodon's defense is actually high. Way higher than a special defense. Uh, and he could Max Guard as well. But if he Max Guard, I don't think his Toxicity could hit me right now. Because his Toxicity is more likely going to... What is it? Hyper Voice or Overdrive or whatever the other voice electric move is. And activate Throat Spray. So next turn, Toxicity is going to be a threat. Ah, see, I didn't quite get him into the into the 50% range. So the only way I can knock out the Gastro next round is if I crit. What does that do? Let's go, dude. Drought. Yeah, Toxicity is kind of, kind of uh, glassy, huh? Plus, I mean, I do have the Drought. Now this right here, this water does hurt my plan a lot. He's still going for the Rotom Heat. I mean, you have to, right? And now I'm definitely... Wait. Was that my second or third turn of Rotom Heat? Because if that's my third turn of Rotom Heat, and I can't change it back to fire or Drought... Yikes, I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble if I can't change this back to Drought. I think that was my third turn. Yep. Okay. I am officially in trouble. Okay, okay, okay. I'm officially in a lot of trouble here. What I'm going to do... Hmm. What I need to do... Ah, see, I need my Grimstar to stay healthy so I can Thunder Wave the Corviknight. What I expect to happen here is I expect a bulk up from Corviknight. And I expect a Max Geyser and a Rotom Heat. So what I'm going to do is switch... Dragapult in for Grimmsnarl so I can get that Thunder Wave off. I believe that's the play. Keep Dragapult alive here. And then I believe we go for the Thunderbolt onto the Corviknight. This Max Geyser is going to hurt a lot. But I'm trying more likely gonna knock me out actually. It should it should 100 percent knock me out. It's decorated and it's and it's raining. Should 100 percent knock me out. I wish I had Thunder instead of Thunderbolt right there. Kinda get the para. No para. There is the bulk up just as I expected. Rotom Heat's definitely going down right here to a Max Geyser. Which is fine. But next turn. Max Quake? Wow, dude. That's actually so smart of him to ignore the Rotom Heat. Because the Rotom Heat can't do anything anyway. Technically, I can't Max Flare, but I can still Thunderbolt. But this turn, this Corviknight's in trouble. For sure. He's not going to Thunderbolt the Corviknight. And I can reflect. And he's out of Dynamax ability. So I'm looking pretty good right now. For sure. How many more turns of reflect do I have? Our light screen. Four still. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a reflect just in case this Corviknight somehow pulls off some kind of wonky stuff where it goes before me. And uh, this should I mean this should be about game here. Thunderbolt's gonna knock out Corviknight. Last thing he'll have is Gastrodon. In which case, 
will this be marching around him? So, this game, I think, so I, I'm, I haven't talked to Joe yet, obviously. I'm going to talk to him after this game is done. Uh, I have to believe that this game definitely threw him off guard with the fact that my Dragapult was a special attacker and not a physical attacker. And there's no way he could have possibly known that I was going to have Solar Beam. That's the only thing I can chalk this up to. So, could we go ahead and just go for a Solar Beam charge? What can, can can he yeah he can't knock me out right on um, because I'm assault vested and I'm might screened so I think I can just go ahead and start charging up the solar beam here and uh, just play roughing because I can't thunder wave obviously he's ground type so I think I'm just gonna start solar beam charging here he might just quit just to uh, save us both time but I mean he can't he does have recover as an option and solar beam is a two move turn now without the sun so let's see what he does here and also he's gonna be going for the burn. Play rough in here. Definitely, thank you for hitting. So next turn, Solar Beam's definitely gonna, definitely gonna hurt. He's more than likely gonna protect though, or recover. Actually, does he have protect? Because if you have protect and recover, is that not silly? Yeah, he doesn't. So that is gonna be a GG right there. Gashadon, I, I can almost guarantee that he just did not expect me to have a, uh, like I said, a special attacking Dragapult, let alone with Solar Beam. That's gonna do it. For the running on MT Beginners Pokemon League, week five, I am now officially three and three. I know I have six matches, even though there was only five weeks. The first week or the second week, I had a double. No, the first week, I had two matches because we have 10 players in an eight player bracket. So I am currently finally even again on my win loss ratio. That is fantastic. Thank you guys for stopping by. Check in the description below. You'll find all my Twitter, Instagram, all of running on MT stuff. And uh, check out mine and Cody's, or mine and Tig's. Monotype versus Nuzlocke on Sword and Shield. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you later.